Archer's mission is to work for and with Aboriginal Arts Centres to promote, empower and connect. In October 2019, we held a forum in Broome where we brought representatives from Aboriginal Arts Centres across the state together and we talked specifically about training needs of Aboriginal arts workers. We sat all the arts centre managers down in a room and we said, you know, what skills do your arts workers need? And from that list of skills that they gave us, we developed this program. So it directly fits with exactly what art workers are expected to do when they get back to their arts centre. Working with the other workers from different regions, it's actually helped a lot because we've actually bounced ideas throughout our conversations. They just have different ways of doing things and I've learnt so much ways that could make my job a lot easier in our art space. It's been really, really nice working with other art workers. We're at the opening of the WA Museum Moolabarra here in Perth. And this is an absolute unique opportunity for people to get the, uh, the experience of working with extraordinary collections. My favourite thing about the whole course would hands down have to be the installation of the song lines of the Seven Sisters at the um, WA Art Museum. The Seven Sisters turn into teenagers, they have hair, grow hair, turn into teenagers. I think the traineeship program is really important because it gives the participants a chance to see a major international travelling exhibition being uh, installed and prepared from the inside out. The story, the sheer scale of it, the whole process of them getting it from the National Museum of Australia over to Perth. They've also worked really closely with the install team and the curators. They've got to understand you know, how that entire exhibition came together, how the works are cared for, how, how a travelling show like that comes together and, and is exhibited. So far we've been installing the Art Centre Hub. I learnt about direct fixing to the wall. I know we have somebody here uh, from the Champi Desert Weavers. There's work of, of theirs in here. My do Ponu and Champi and painting. Champi is when we make basket or animals. Once you're in front of a work of art, conversations happen that wouldn't happen in your normal day-to-day -day life. It was really interesting to see how that conversation that started in the gallery then continued in the studio, but we weren't talking about telling stories, we were just telling stories. <laughs> a training program like this is so fantastic because not only do they get to learn new skills from museums and art galleries, they also get to learn from each other and to, and to create their own networks and professional networks. It's really important that Aboriginal people in these centres um, are in control of their organisations as we go into the future. Having an accredited program is something that people are actually quite motivated to be part of and they feel sort of a lot of sense of pride at the end of it if they can accomplish that and, and get that accredited certificate. We brought together a, a really different and dynamic program uh, that we hope will continue into the future and provide Aboriginal arts workers in WA with the great diversity of needs and training that will contribute to their workplace.